This video is sponsored by Diecast Airplane Store. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another review video. Today I would like to review JetBlue's Embraer E190 by Gemini Jets. The mold is fantastically done. The only thing I don't like about it is that they didn't put a dome on top and instead pinned it right onto the fuselage. The colors appear to match the real aircraft. It's incredible how nice and crisp the details are on this model. One flaw is that the overhead in the cockpit is done incorrectly. The wings are beautifully placed into the fuselage. Two flaws are the vertical tail on the right side has visible excess glue and also the tail is placed at a noticeable angle to the left. The wings are a tiny bit overglossed but the wing details are superbly done. The engines are nicely done. The only flaw is that the fan blades are not the correct color. The nose landing gear seems to be made from plastic, while the main landing gear seems to be made from metal. The nose wheel is made from plastic, and the main landing gear wheels are made from rubber. The wheels have a tiny lump on them. Only the right main landing gear rolls. There are several flaws with the landing gear. One of the flaws is that the nose gear should be slightly forward of where it's placed. The left main landing gear is placed at a slight angle, and last but not least, either the main landing gear is a little bit too long, or the nose gear is a little bit too short, making the model lean just slightly forward. Overall, this is a model that I recommend you guys to get. This is one beautiful livery that deserves to be in everyone's collection. Well, that concludes the review for JetBlue's Embraer E190 by Gemini Jets. If you have this model, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Please, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest reviews. This is Alpha and hope to have you guys back again soon.